Some state lawmakers are calling on Florida's Attorney General to investigate one of the most powerful power companies in the country, Florida Power and Light. Their concerns come from several recent scandals involving FPNL, including where your money may be going and allegations of spying on a local journalist who had investigated FPNL's bid to buy JEA. On your side, Kaylee Tracy has been looking into the letter that these lawmakers sent and joins us live in the newsroom now with what could come next. Kaylee? Well, Heather, a spokesperson for Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody's office says after reviewing the letter, they plan to forward that letter to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. But the representatives who sent the letter tell me it's not the first time they've tried to hold FPL accountable. Their job is to deliver power and electricity to Floridians. Their job is not to undermine democracy, spy on journalists. Florida Representative Anna Escamani and three other lawmakers, all Democrats, sent a letter to Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody Thursday requesting Moody investigate Florida Power and Light. My hope is accountability. Reporting by the Orlando Sentinel, the Florida Times Union, and the Miami Herald uncovered the FPL has donated to political campaigns that its consultants supported ghost candidates in the 2020 election to take away votes from legitimate candidates and paid for a news website that was pro FPL and that one of its consultants is linked to surveilling Jacksonville journalist Nate Monroe seen here in this picture taken without his knowledge. Monroe investigated FPL's bid to buy JEA. All of it is very disturbing, um, but there's always this far line between what is illegal versus what is unethical. Eskamani says they also sent a letter to the Public Service Commission at the beginning of the year asking for an audit of FPL's finances. The commission rejected that request. Putting up an independent candidate to siphon votes away from another candidate, that stuff is very important and it's, it's troubling. It's also, uh, you know, that, that photo, it, it just kind of like tells a story by itself, doesn't it? Monroe, referencing this picture taken of him and his now wife without his knowledge, says he's glad some lawmakers take issue with surveillance of journalists, but he wishes more did. The company's influence looms large over everything in Tallahassee. And FPL sent us a statement saying in part, quote, FPL has never used customer dollars to participate in the political process or lobby on our co company's behalf. And any accusation that claims we do is uninformed and false. Back to you.